Welcome to an example of the second fundamental theorem of calculus. The second fundamental theorem of calculus is stated here below, where if f is continuous on an open interval i containing the constant a, then for every x in the interval, the derivative with respect to x of the integral of f of t from a to x is equal to f of x. So a couple things to notice here. The lower limit of integration a must be in an interval where f of t is continuous. The upper limit of integration is x, the same variable in which we're integrating with respect to. And then to evaluate the derivative of this integral, we simply substitute x for t in our function f. The reason this can be helpful is, even if we're not able to evaluate this integral here, we can still find this derivative using this theorem. So in our example, we'll actually first apply this theorem and then because we can find this integral, we'll actually find the integral and then find the derivative to verify the results. So if f of x is equal to this integral, we want to find f prime of x and f prime of three. So again, the first thing we should recognize is that zero is in an interval where the function f of t equals two t to the third is continuous. Notice this function is continuous everywhere. And then second, the upper limit of integration is the variable x. So if this integral is equal to f of x, that means f prime of x would be equal to the derivative with respect to x of our integral. Which means the derivative of this integral would just be equal to the function where we substitute x for t. So f prime of x is just equal to two x to the third. So that's the first part of this question. F prime of x equals two x to the third. And therefore to find f prime of three, we simply substitute three for x. So that would be two times three to the third. Three to the third is equal to 27. 27 times two is equal to 54. But again, let's also verify this by finding this integral and then finding the derivative of the integral. So if f of x is equal to the integral from zero to x of two t to the third dt, if we want to evaluate this integral, we would first find the antiderivative function, which would be two times t to the fourth divided by four, evaluated at x and zero. Well, this would just be one half t to the fourth. So we would first substitute x for t and then substitute zero for t. Substituting x for t would give us one half x to the fourth. Substituting zero for t would just give us zero. So f of x is just equal to one half x to the fourth, which means f prime of x, applying the power rule of differentiation, we would have one half times four x to the third, which is two x to the third. So notice how doing this the long way, f prime of x is still two x to the third. I hope you found this helpful.